Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. And as you saw by the title in today's video, I'm going to be talking about roller coasters at Six Flags Magic Mountains. But we're going to be doing it in soft spoken style today. So whether you live in the California area or you've never been or you've been to Six Flags, I'm just going to be going over a few of the roller coasters. Before the video starts, I'd like to say I did not get the chance to ride X2 or Batman, but I will because I'm going in the future. I'm getting a pass, but they were both closed the day I went. But I did ride all the other roller coasters. So, yeah, that's all I really have to say. Let's get on to the video. All right, so in today's video, we're going to be going over my three favorite roller coasters. And before I, I get on to them, I'd like to give an honorable mention to Crazanity. And really, it's just the name suits it very well. I mean, really, this is a great ride. I think everyone should experience it at least once. And um, if you get the chance to definitely go on it. It just, it's scary, it's fun. It's just really a big package in a ride. So, yeah. All right, so number three, we have Full Throttle. Now, Full Throttle, <coughs> Full Throttle is a looping roller coaster. It goes up to about I think 170 feet and this ride shoots you off in the beginning really fast and you go up the loop and then when you're kind of at the peak of the loop in the middle you kind of just go slow and then boom right back down and then forward and then you stop in this little like cave tunnel thing they play some cool music and you shoot backwards and honestly it is really fun it's a short ride but really it's it's a good experience for a short ride, and I would recommend going on it if you do go. So, yeah, that's all I have to say about Full Throne. Alrighty, so number two, and I think the ride I was most excited to go on, Goliath. Now, I've heard from roller coaster enthusiasts that this isn't their favorite, just because it's an okay first drop. Uh, it's, it, it's not the most intense roller coaster, but in my opinion, I love it. I mean, I really just like everything about it. From the moment you get on, the waiting area, it's a great vibe. I love the lift hill. I mean, and honestly, this was the first roller coaster I went on, Six Flags, and I'd never been on any big roller coasters before, so I was scared out of my mind, but I knew I was gonna do it. And the first drop is really not that bad, to be honest with you. I mean, it's just fast, really. And then get some great air time. And during the helixes, I blacked out. I blacked out really, like, I really blacked out one time. It was pretty cool. So, yeah, it's a really great experience, and I'd recommend it if you've never done it. So, yeah, that's number two. All right, so number one. I think this is people, a lot of people's runner-up to X2 from all the videos I watched. And honestly, it might be when I go on X2. I've heard really good things about X2, but anyways, I think you know it. Twisted Colossus. I mean, this is just a monster of a ride. I mean, the first drop is like 150 feet straight down. Uh, just some crazy inversions f make you fly out of your seat, you go upside down. And I think one of the coolest things about this ride is there's two tracks, not just one. So, this one, you're going to get a lot of air time. It's going to be intense. You're going to be going fast. Before you can process what happens, you're already going to be way past it. It's going to be intense. It's going to be just crazy. So, yeah, I mean, there is a lot of great rides but at Six Flags, but I just think this one really ties in all the elements to a roller coaster. You want a good first drop some intense fast loops and going up and down and you even go upside down it's just crazy so yeah okay so before in the video i do want to give two more honorable mentions so the first one riddler's revenge now this one is a great ride but the only downside about it is the seats or whatever you want to call them they're kind of a pain to get into and they're uncomfortable but the ride itself is like an a solid 
A plus ride. I mean, it goes fast, you got some loops, intense, but it's just the seating is really like uncomfortable. So yeah, that's the only downside about the ride, but the ride itself is amazing. Okay, so the last honorable mention, West Coast Racers. So this one is, I think, the most newly installed roller coaster and you got the white side, you got the yellow side. So it's kind of like, it's like Twisted Colossus where you get to go twice. And I'm a, white side you go first, and I'm more of a fan of the white side, that's just me though. And the seats are a little weird, they're like, I don't know, they're not like the regular seat restraints. But um, it's a fun, quick ride. It could, like, they could send you off a little faster, it feels like you're waiting for a while. But um, yeah, it's still a great ride if you want to work your way up or you just you just want to go on like a mediocre roller coaster that's not too big, not too small. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's a good roller coaster if you just want to have fun. Okay, guys, so this was the video. I do hope you enjoyed. Uh, it's a little bit of a different style from what I usually go for, but. I was really excited to do this. I've been planning to do it for like a week now, I think. And uh, yeah. And like I said, once I get on next two, it'll probably be my number one just because, well, I've seen the videos. They look crazy. But yeah, that's all I really have to say. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next one.